Can you imagine yourself or any mammal chewing a cactus with needles six inches long? You would burst into tears. But camels seem to enjoy gnawing cacti and other thorny desert plants without injuring themselves. How can it be? Cactus is the only stable source of food in lifeless desert. It is one of the few plants able to survive in extremely hot temperatures. Even if the camel would find another food in the desert, it will also be tough and thorny. Such is the plant's mechanism of protection against heating sun. To eat thorny desert plants, the inside of the camel's mouth is lined with raised cone-shaped hardened structures called papillae. The papillae consist of keratin, the same sturdy material our fingernails are made of. These papillae slide the needles of cactus vertically down the throat and protect the internal cheeks, mouth and tongue from scratches and injuries. For us, it would be impossible to eat a cactus. For the camel, it is not the most comfortable thing, but the ruminator keeps ruminating. The key is to avoid being poked by the spines. The animal is usually rewarded, because afterwards it can consume fleshy parts of the plant. Cacti are known to store water within their system. Since they do not have leaves like other plants, their stems take up this role. The huge, thick stem of cacti functions as a water storage tank, which would be extremely useful for the camel in the desert. Apart from large tough lips and the sturdy protrusions in their mouths, which enable camels to consume dry and prickly desert vegetations, these sheeps of deserts have other adaptations for dry climate. The legendary humps are used to store fat that converts to energy when needed. The camel uses them as nourishment when food is scarce. If a camel gets hungry, the hump will limpen and droop down. With sufficient food and rest, the hump will return to normal. Bactrian camels, which are native to the Gobi Desert in China and the Bactrian steppes of Mongolia, have two humps. The one hump dromedary camels are found in North Africa and the Middle East. Other adaptations which help camels to thrive in desert conditions are bushy eyebrows and two rows of long eyelashes protecting their eyes from sand. Big, thick foot pads help these beasts of burden navigate the rough, rocky terrain and shift desert sands. Filling up the nose with the sand during sand storms can be a problem but not for camels. They can close their nostrils to keep sand at bay. Camels can spit on people. But this is not because the beast has choked with a cactus. This is a defense tactic when the animal feels threatened. Otherwise, camels are gentle and friendly creatures.